French farmers across the country protested against the EU's latest damaging plan to reform its Common Agricultural Policy (CAP), sparking calls for France to leave the bloc immediately. French farmers walled up the Public Finance Centre in Milau with tyres on Thursday. Similar actions took place in front of the tax centres of a dozen towns in Aviron to protest against the CAP, which provides for a reduction in aid. Protesting farmers are demanding fair remuneration. Some clashed with police in the towns of Bourges and Toulouse. About 400 farmers drove into the towns on tractors. They had posters with inscriptions such as, Save your farmer, and, Macron, don't do nonsense, there will be elections soon. The regional branch of the French Farmers Association FNSEA, and the Young Farmers Organization YA had called for the action, supporting the protesters. Les Patriots leader Florian Philippot said Frexit should be the next and only step to secure a fair agricultural policy for France. He said, well done to the farmers. They must now fight for Frexit. Unique solution to get rid of the cap and free trade treaties which create unfair competition with the whole earth. France will have a much better national agricultural policy. The protests come as the EU is negotiating a reform of the cap. Cattle farmers in particular fear EU agricultural reform will result in significant losses in income transfers. Frank Lepreta, president of the FNSEA Centre Val de Loire, said, according to our estimates, with this reform we will lose around 80 euros per hectare, that's 52 million euros for agriculture in the Centre Val de Loire. Mr. Lepreta fears that many farmers will not be able to adhere to the new organic regulations. Further demonstrations and blockades are scheduled to take place across the country in the coming days. France's Agriculture Minister Julien de Normandy is under growing pressure to stop the EU from accepting any further concessions which could harm the livelihoods of French farmers. The new policy being debated in Brussels seeks to move more money from traditional direct payments into rural development, and place more obligations on farmers to engage in environmental improvement and innovation. Basic payments from 2022 to 2027 would be capped and targeted at smaller producers.